at the NFL Combine, about to run my 40-yard dash. I'm projected to be one of the fastest quarterbacks in this entire class, so let's not disappoint him. Hey everybody, welcome to Madden 11. And what we're going to be doing in this career mode is we're going to be taking my Road to Glory quarterback from NCAA 11 and importing him into this one for my career mode in the NFL. Now you can't do this in game, but I thought it'd be fun to pretend like I'm going through the scouting and NFL draft process. So I'm going to be taking a mock wonder lick, which is actually in game because you can do the 40 yard dash. You can do the bench press and you can do QB drills. So not exactly the combine, but like I said, we can pretend we can have fun and imagine that I'm going through the process because we are playing on madden 11 we got to look back at the 2010 nfl draft class this featured quarterbacks like sam bradford tim tebow colt mccoy jimmy clausen big old bust and a few other quarterbacks you might remember or not so if we pretend and say like we are all scouts in this situation which most of my commenters are very very critical of me so what i did is i took all the information from everybody was saying my own thoughts on it and what i think would be kind of realistic of what nfl scouts might say about my player judging based on my play on the field and my attributes from NCAA 11. Here are my attributes from NCAA 11. 85 overall. I was a junior when I declared, coming off a Heisman Trophy. As you can tell, I don't have the strongest arm in the world. I was pretty accurate. Pretty good speed for a quarterback, too. My awareness is in the tank, but we can work on that. Let's look at the positives first. His production was off the charts. He won a Heisman Trophy, a Maxwell, and two Walter Camps. 100 passing touchdowns in three seasons, and 11,000 passing yards. Good at improvising. He can shed tackles in the backfield and can throw some dimes on the run. Basically think Pat Mahomes, just without the arm strength, the accuracy, the intelligence, or generally any of the talent. He does have some athletic slash running ability. Had over 2,000 rushing yards in his college career and 46 rushing touchdowns. I think the scouts are projecting about 4.6 to 4.8 speed in his 40. And he's pretty dang young, 20 years old, heading into his first season. He'll be 21 when his rookie season begins. But now, the long list of negatives. To be an NFL quarterback, you need to be pretty tall to look over those big old fat offensive linemen. This guy is pretty undersized. 6'1", 190 pounds. He's gonna be staring at the back of some dude's necks. This dude's decision making is horrifying. He would throw in a like quadruple coverage for no reason. Like there would be guys open on the other side of the field and he just wouldn't see him. Or he'd miss wide open receivers. He would scramble when there's guys all over the place in front of him when he's got receivers open downfield. So basically to sum it all up, this guy's kind of an idiot. Got a bad turnover problem too. 31 interceptions in his college career. He's pretty dang fumble happy as well. You can tickle this man with a feather and he's going to cough up the football, it feels like. Got some questions about his IQ. One, because we know he's kind of stupid. Two, can he even adapt to a pro style? We're watching his tape and it feels like it's mostly four verticals the whole time. Like, did he just run four verts for three years? Honestly, <laughs> going to have to adapt and learn some new plays at the next level. Also, when watching his tape, it felt like he got constantly bailed out by his receivers. Like you'd have tight ends leaping like 14 feet in the air, snatching it over like three defenders while getting tackled and catching the ball still. I don't think that one's on the quarterback. He's got some pretty tiny hands, 7.6 inches. Can't imagine that's the only thing that's tiny. In summary, I believe Drew Morris is overrated. Phenomenal college player, won the Heisman Trophy, all that good garbage. But I am not sold on him being a good quarterback in the pros. Could he develop into something down the road? Maybe a perennial backup? Possibly. But needs to vastly improve his game to make it at the NFL level. I'm placing him as the fifth best quarterback in this draft, projected to go in the third of fourth round at the nfl combine about to run my 40 yard dash i'm projected to be one of the fastest quarterbacks in this entire class so let's not disappoint him Woo, four five seven felt like i could be faster than that but i'm actually not disappointed with it now it's time for bench press. I'm not known for my strength, but we'll try to do the best we can right here. So far, so good. We got six more than I expected to get. And we're still cooking out here. Can we get double digits? Yes, sorry. Look at me pump this iron. 14, 15, I'm a beast. Make it 16. And one more. Oh, we got 17. I can do one rep of 245 in real life, so 17 in game. That's how you know it's a video game. They are wanting me to play quarterback after all, so here we go. Remember this is on all Madden? 
I'm going to drop this one off to Golden Tate, who's projected to go in the second round. He is also a rookie. They're working us out at the same time, see if we mesh together, I guess. And that one's for TJ Hushmanzada. Surprised that safety lawyer Malloy didn't pick that one off. Steve can beam that to the end zone. Can't hold on to it. This one's just straight up streaks. Beam it over to the corner. Swat it down again. Give me some better plays to work with, please. I'm going to throw a little early nearly picked. To the end zone. TJ Hushmanzada. One of the most fun names to say in the entire league. And he's a pretty dang good receiver. Gonna rifle at him right here. They're coming with the blitz. Golden Tate, just use your speed. I like how he's not even wearing gloves. Old school. Got past the safety. Looking like Golden Tate. If he ends up going to the Seahawks, he might be my favorite target. We end that round with 13,125 points. Next team working us out is the Vikings. This is an interesting team. They got some really good receivers. You got Adrian Peterson, of course, in his prime. But the catch here is we would probably end up sitting behind Brett Favre, who's in his final couple of seasons. Percy Harvin right here. He would be a good deep threat. Oh, man, Sidney Rice. What a grab. It's fun to go back into these old games and see who's out here. I don't know who the Barian guy is. I can't remember that. That was a good pass. Percy Harvin got that breakaway speed. Nice. And it's fun because I get to control the receivers after the catch. A lot of these games, you don't get to do that. Sidney Rice. Oh, man. Like, these receivers are studs. So we finished that one with 21,000 points. And the final team working us out is the Buffalo Bills. So this team might be the weakest roster on offense in the entire league at this point. So they would definitely need my help. They have a ton of speed at receiver, though, so the potential with that could be pretty fun. They got guys coming at me, but they left them open down the middle. Parrish is going to walk his way into the end zone. Could not be more open than that. Ooh, what a juke. Hardy got him slipping. Get rid of that one quickly after the blitz. Free touchdown for the Bills. This was back when the Bills had maybe the ugliest jerseys in the entire league. Like, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed these, but it could be a fun roster. So we finished with 33,000 points, our highest by far. So the point totals lowest on the bottom is the Seahawks. Then we had a good one with the Vikings, and the best one was with the Bills. We're going to do the in-game IQ test. NFL rookies are required to take an IQ test before they are drafted. Prospective teams will be paying close attention to your score, so try your best. You have five minutes to answer ten questions. Which word is closest to the opposite of kohole? Huh? I've never heard of that word in my life. If Devin Hester catches a kickoff four yards into the end zone and returns it to the 50-yard line, how many feet did Devin advance? So I guess that's a 54-yard return. 54 yards and three feet in a yard. That would be 162. Jake can run 75 feet in five seconds. At this pace, how many yards can he run in 10 seconds? He can run 50 yards in 10 seconds. Six times six is 36. Three times 12 is 36. If Steven Jackson gets tackled for a gain of 19 yards and the tackler gets penalized for 15 yard face mask, what is the result of the play? So 19 plus 15 yards, 34 yard gain. Which word is the closest to the opposite of jubilant? So jubilant is like happy. I would say despondent is the, the closest to the opposite. Moon is to earth as earth is to. I'm sorry, what? So earth is the, earth is not a moon of anything. Maybe it's the sun, I guess. <laughs> what is the next logical number in the series? 81, 64, 49, 36. So you got nine, eight, seven, six. So it would be five times five would be 25. Which of the following is at least like the others? Baseball bat, tennis racket, football, because it's not like an instrument that you hit something with. Your score on this test is extremely high with 100% correct. I'm actually shocked. I felt like I got one of those math questions wrong. But yay, I'm happy with that. Would I do that well on an actual Wonderlic test? Probably not. In our fictional world, I went to Vanderbilt, so I'd be ashamed of myself if I didn't get a crazy high Wonderlic score. Not paying for this private school for nothing. So we're actually going to take a look at all the rosters that we could potentially play for. These are the top three teams that are 
looking at us. If we go to the Seahawks, we're going to have to sit behind Matt Hasselbeck for a while, but but he is on the back of it of his career, 34 years old, so maybe one or two seasons and the job is ours. They don't have amazing running backs at this point, but they do have Justin Forsett, Leon Washington, so it's serviceable. Some solid receivers, TJ Hushmanzada, and then you also got the rookie Golden Tate. He could be a big play threat. Dion Branch. We also got rookie left tackle Russell Okung, I think is how you say his last name. Pretty consistent across the entire offensive line. I mean, not the best in the league, but there's definitely worse ones out there. Need a little bit of help on the D-line. But we do have Brandon Meebane, who's only 25 at this point. We got Aaron Curry, Lofa Tatupu, Marcus Trufant, Josh Wilson. This was also the year they drafted Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor. Keep in mind, Cam Chancellor was only like a 60-something overall. I boosted his attributes a little bit because, come on, he was a gym. We all know it. He's one of the best safeties in the league. But you can already see the Legion of Boom. That would be a fun team to play with. Of course, we never get to play with the Legion of Boom because they'd be on the defense and I'm always on offense. Still an amazing rookie class that would be a lot of fun to develop with. If we look at the Vikings at this point, they got a 99 overall Jared Allen leading the defense. Got Adrian Peterson in his prime, 97 speed. I think this was back when he had his best season in his entire career too. But we probably would have to sit behind Brett Favre for a year or two, but maybe could help our development, similar to Aaron Rodgers. AP, Toby Gerhardt, like these, this was a really fun Vikings team. Sidney Rice, Percy Harvin, speed all over the place. Then he also got Bashanti Shianko. <laughs> That one was a tough one to say. And Klein Sasser. I don't know if I can pick this team purely of how difficult the tight end names are to read. 90 overall left tackle, 97 left guard. Oh yeah, that, that's good stuff. I mean, a right guard's terrible. Very strong O-line, very strong D-line. EJ Henderson at middle linebacker, Chad Greenway at right outside linebacker. Antoine Winfield, Cedric Griffin, got a rookie, Chris Cook. Might need some safety help. Yeah, but all in all, that would be a really fun roster as well. Then you have the Bills. They're pretty strong on defense, but their offense needs so much help. With the Bills, we'd be able to start pretty much instantly. The next quarterback they have out there is Ryan Fitzpatrick. Got old school Fred Jackson, Marshawn Lynch, and CJ Spiller. Really fun speed. Roscoe Parrish, Lee Evans. We got a rookie, Marcus Easley. Not a good offensive line, though. This is the weakest of the three I've shown you so far. Defensive line is okay. Kyle Williams on this team. Oh, man. Never mind. Defense is not that good. Our left outside linebacker is a 67. Middle linebacker Paul Puzlesny, though. Aaron Schobel. That face is so spooky to me. Terrence McGee. Uh, Leotis McKelvin, I think. Ashton Yabuti. Or Ashton Yabati, whatever. We gotta say Yabuti, though. Come on. We do have Jairus Bird. I think that's how you say his name. Dante Whitner. We got a 90 overall punter in Brian Mormon, who has 90 speed. Now it's time for the NFL draft. Which team is going to go with Drewski? Oh, there it is. We get drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. So that means we get to play behind Brett Favre with a rookie Everson Griffin. And we get to hand it off to Adrian Peterson. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, I forgot. In these games, you become an instant starter no matter what. No way I can even change that either. So I guess we can just pretend in our heads that I waited a season behind Brett Favre and ended up starting. Yeah, whatever. Things we can do, we can go talk to my agent. May I help you? Yes, you're my agent. Tell the press I guarantee to win my next game. The publicity is great, just make sure you follow through. This game is mine. There's no way they can win. <laughs> my player ego instantly switched to selfish. Now it's accurate. But hey, at least I kept my speed a little bit. 84 speed, 84 agility. Throw power is a horrible 84. The accuracy, nothing is above 80. So we got some work to do. It's going to be an uphill battle, but we have a really good team to work with. And we have Adrian Peterson to lean on for a long time. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. Next episode, we will start training camp and the preseason. Get this ball rolling and see how we do as an NFL quarterback. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends of my book and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters Brandon Martin, Austin Mayfield, Hector Flores, Emmett Lewis McKenzie, Brandon Brooks, Nicholas McGovern, DJ Bagwell, Dakota Caron, Tyler Albert, Tyler Sheeran, Seth Washburn, Lord Potato, Jamartin Lasquitch, Movie Jones, and Andrew Farr.